This video is going to be a brief overview on how to take a pin out of an SR20 front wheel drive onboard Data 2 wiring harness. What you want to basically do is up in the front here, you want to ensure that the safety is released. You lift up, that part comes up, it goes up and down. That safety needs to be released. I have two tools that I use for this um, that I kind of made on my own. Um, file down nail right here. And I also have another smaller one that you can use to push through the top of the pin where the actual ECU pin slides through. And what it'll do is it'll actually push the pin out of the hole. Right now I'm taking uh, pin number 110 out of uh, the rear O2 heater wire and I need to put it into pin 108 on the harness in order to accommodate a older style onboard data to ECU so what I'm basically doing is I'm switching pins around uh, to ensure that the older style onboard data to ECU knows exactly which signals to get from the wiring harness. Uh, a few of the wires are mixed up, should al already be pointed up out on, uh, on the threads to show you what's going on. And what this is gonna do is basically just show you how to take a pin out of your existing wiring harness and to actually switch that over into a new portion of the harness. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and begin. So right now I have uh, pin 110 right here. They're a bit of a pain to get out. You'll, you'll have to work them a little bit. And you can see I kind of, um, you can see that I kind of did a not so great job. This is my first time of actually taking these out. So let me go ahead and reposition the camera here so you got a view of exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead right into pin 110. I'm gonna go ahead and push the pin through we already know it's unlocked. Pushing it through. Here comes the wire out of 110. There it is. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this pin, and this pin needs to go into 108, uh, which is right in the middle of the other portion of the harness on the left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead, and you can see right here, go ahead and push that pin into the correct spot. Make sure you push it all the way down and all the way in. Once you have that new pin in, what you're going to do, clip it back into place. Good to go. And just to ensure that you have good contact, you could uh, finagle around with the pin while it's inside the harness. Just to make sure these little spots right up here, these are the points where the ECU actually plugs into the harness. Those are the little pins that go through. So we just want to make sure that we have good contact. I'm going to go ahead and try to bend that pin up as much as I can. Make sure we got good contact and we are good to go to plug this in uh, at this point to the older style onboard Data 2 ECU. So this thing's ready to go. Um, if you'd like, I know there are some signal wires that go into the older style ECU from the newer one that uh, cause some idle issues, which should also be pointed out in the thread. So uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of what to do. You can do it yourself, uh, pull the pins right out, switch them around, and get the ECU that you want, uh, a, a, a tunable ECU, into... Uh, your 99 or, or B15, uh, P11, whatever you want to call it. So good luck with your project. Take care.